Hello, I'm Natalie, and I'll be showing you how to connect a motor to the circuit playground through the Cricut add-on board. You can use a hobby motor that spins quickly with little force, or a TT motor with internal gears, slower spinning, and more force. They can be used for anything that needs to spin, like a wheel, fan, or merry-go-round. I've attached a straw to this TT motor so you can see it spin. To connect the motor to the Cricut, You'll look for the section that says motor and take a screwdriver to loosen the two terminals. We're going to use these two right here. So to loosen, you'll want to turn these screws left. And then you can grab the pins and stick them in. Once they're in, you can tighten the screws again to lock them in place. And this time we'll be turning the screws right. And they're locked in place. To control the motors, I'll open up Make Code and click on Advanced, and then Extensions, and we'll scroll down to Cricut. And now we have new programming blocks. So first I'll go to Input, and give it a button to control the motor. Then we'll go to Cricut and run motor 1 at 50 percent. We'll need to pause that for a second and then back to Cricut to stop the motor. Then we can download that code and upload it to the circuit playground. Now that the code is downloaded onto the circuit playground you'll want to connect the battery pack to the Cricut and here I have the motor and we'll be pressing button A to control it and it spins for one second. Here I have a hobby motor with a fan connected to it and it can also be controlled by the same button and the same code spinning for just one second. 